Black Cap Chef and I'm now going to show you how to prepare fresh ginger. So let's have a look and see what's going on. So if you buy ginger uh, in a supermarket in a green grocer's, you'll find it comes like this. Uh, different sizes, different shapes uh, and that's what you're going to buy. It has these little bits on the side. So first thing we need to do is we need to peel it. So I've got a piece here that I've just already started. Sharp knife easy just to peel away the edges, keep your fingers out of the way. These bits here that are a little bit knobbly around the edges. There we go. But I like to just, oops, <laughs> quick wash. Just find these bits here, cut through things out of the way. If you lose a little bit, it doesn't matter. There we go. It's now peeled. Now you need to slice it. So I find it easier just to use the bridge here to chop it in half. It's an unusual shape, it's typically ginger. So then we need to take it here and we're using the claw grip, thumb behind, fingers bent underneath. I'm just going to cut strips. You may find that it tears a bit if you cut it one particular way. Ginger, ginger has this texture. Sometimes you just need to turn it around and try cutting it a different way. It won't tear so much. So I've got my little pile here. I'm going to turn these into little thinner strips. There we go. So that is a typical little batten of fresh ginger. If you want to chop it a little bit finer, then you can do. There we go. Some recipes say that you should grate the ginger. You can use a normal grater to do that. I actually find that if you don't have one, chopping it you used to be fine as well, so I wouldn't worry too much. So here we go, chop it again. And we've got lovely, fine ginger. And that's perfect for stir fries, for other oriental dishes where you want that little bit of heat. So let's do this bit. So there we go, so you can see, ginger, really, really quick and easy to do, sorted.